It's an easy word, but it's a very complicated word. When you think of it, it's called water. We need water in the state. And you have so much water, you don't know what to do with it. Too long, authorities have needlessly flushed millions and millions of gallons of fresh, beautiful, clean water from up north straight into the Pacific Ocean. It's nothing for the Pacific Ocean. You know what it means? Like nothing. We're talking about the Pacific. <laughs> I think they think we're helping the Pacific. It's like a drop. It's like a drop. But it can help us to a level that nobody can believe. On the basis of old science, obsolete studies, and overbearing regulations that had not been updated in many, many years, and sometimes for decades. The resulting miscalculation and misallocation of water helped turn natural droughts into man-made catastrophes. I mean, it's really a catastrophe when you think. So we gave it back. Federal bureaucrats will no longer micromanage every ditch, stock tank, puddle, and pond on your land. From now on, it's your land. It's not their land. You're going to do what you want with it. Already, my administration is making every effort to finish the review process for the Fryant Kern Canal in less than one year. Less than one year. We're going to have it done in less than a year. Right, David? And just to finish up, America is a nation built by farmers who work hard to provide their families, support their neighbors, and draw out God's abundance from the earth. You pour out your sweat and soul. You pour out your heart. You really do. You're incredible people. You work so hard, and you're smart as hell. Because to make it in your business, you have to be smart. Your communities, your country, we appreciate it so much. And that's why I'm here today and why I will always keep fighting for the American farmer and rancher, the people in this room. We're going to fight for you, and we're going to win, and we're going to get you your water and put a lot of pressure on your governor. And frankly, if he doesn't do it, you're going to get a new governor, because who could, who could conceivably? Who could conceivably think of somebody that wouldn't do this? I just leave by saying, God bless the American farmer. God bless America. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is a big step. You rock, Where's Jim? Where's Jim? That's yours, Jim. Oh. Oh. We'll get you some more, too. We're going to have everybody a friend.